This is hooked up. When he gets near the boat, he'll jump in the f***ing boat. Yeah. Casey's got to walk with that fish. He's going to run down this side. This isn't doing much. Well, it only took us a few casts. We got in here. Be ready. Got us some fish That's on. what I'm talking about. <laughs> fish on. You hold that rod. Hold yeah, that I, got, rod. I, got the, I got the rod. Hold that rod. I got it. Hold that rod. Tighten that drag up tight. Okay, let him do what he wants to do. All right, welcome. There you go, good man. Put a notch down on that drag. I just did. Fish, fish is down. Fish is down. Ain't bad for a guy who's flipping a saucepan, huh? You know what's on this? I don't care to get him in. You just want to feel him. <laughs> Strong fish. I'm on now. <laughs> get, every time you get closer, take a dive for it. A little different than a trap. Just a little bit. Turn around. Woo! It's either going to be you or me. And I know <laughs> who it ain't going to be. We're pulling him in. I got to see this bad boy out of the water. Faulty rod there, huh? No, my ass. <laughs> go jack his ass up there with that big wide receiver right there, seven <laughs> foot ten. I got his tail for right Bad now. Bad boy right there. Right That's good. <laughs> it's it's, it's a one, one or two more out here. We're done. There you go, gentlemen. <laughs> Finish. Regret or redemption. Redemption is always better than regret because, you know, it gives you that, that motivation, that commitment to go out and do things that nobody else sees you doing. And you have to have the faith and the will in yourself to go out and do it. So I say redemption. I imagine as a kid growing up, you know, how many times does this go through your head? You know, you're a receiver, <laughs> there's 35 seconds on the clock, Man. and they call your number. You know, it was, you know, we had ran the same play like three plays in a row. Sluggo, huh? Yeah, and Eli had told me before I left the huddle, he was like, hey, man, if they single cover you, you know, I'm, I'm throwing. And I was like, there's no way that they're going to single cover me right now. And I got to the line of scrimmage, and I looked at the coverage, and my eyes were just like, one of those. And Eli was like, he was trying to hike the ball so fast. You see him, like, jumping, like, hike it, hike it, hike it. And he hiked, and I was just like, I'm going to take this thing home, man. And you know, like I said, when, you, you, when you're a kid, I don't think you can, you know, dream or draw it up any better. You throw the ball up in the air when you're right. seven, eight years old, and you right, right, right. celebrate the winning touchdown and win a Super Bowl. And you know, I was actually fortunate enough to live it out. And you know, it, 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 I, it crosses my mind at least once a day. Uh, so I got to ask you this one: not why, but just kind of what makes you do that? What makes you think that you gotta? I mean, you're a big guy. Right. <laughs> You know, you got people around you. Right. Did you grow up with, uh, with guns, you know? Yeah, it, it was kind of a part of, you know, the culture you know, that, right. I, that I kind of grew up in. And, you know, I always say that, you know, I have been, you know, carrying a gun, you know, years prior to that, ever since I had oh, well, really? yeah, 10, 11 years uh -huh. going into that. What culture? Is it a hunting culture or was it more of a, of a you know, street thing? It, it was more of the, you know, street thing, growing yeah. up in the, you know, urban community and, mm -hmm. You know, seeing it go on, and you just think that it's right, and, and and that's the thing that you know I try to, you know, teach now is that, you know, I always used to say that I was kind of a product of my environment, so to speak. But it's, it's such a, you know, uh, you know, a bull way to live. Right. You know, you're not. You know, you can step outside of the box and, you know, and be different. 
And that's what I try to pass on to the to the youth. You know, once that bullet comes out of the gun, you can't take it back. Can't take it back. No, yeah. I guess not. Yeah. Was there any silver lining at all at the end of it? It cost me nothing to get a lot of people out of my life. You know? Okay. Well, it cost you, it cost you 20 months. Yeah, yeah it, cost, it cost me 20 months. But, you know, it, it, and a lot of people really showed me their true colors about the kind sure. of people that they are. And I think, uh, and I stepped back from it, and I said, okay, you know, that's perfectly fine. And then when it was time for me to come home and do my thing again, you know, everybody kind of showed back up when I was like, uh-uh. Yeah. So, uh, you know, and, 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 and I wouldn't change the person that it made me because, uh, you know, who knows what, what would have happened. Right. And um, first of all, I was, I'm thankful that I'm still here. Right. And, you know, nobody else was home. Right. You know, and, um, Your family you, stayed together through it? Yeah, 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 definitely. You want to talk about something snatching your heart out and stomping sure, on so it? I can imagine. You know, those, those are, that's something that I, I can never, you know, relive or have back. All right, we're going to blow out of here and get some food. Let's, let's do it. it. Cool, man. Let's go get some gator. Yeah, let's go. We had a great day on the water. I got to know Plaxico a bit. We caught everything from snook in the morning, a bunch of trout in the afternoon, and then we ended the day with a, an 80-pound tarpon. So we just had a blast, a great day all the way around. Thirty-five or twenty-five. I choose thirty-five in a heartbeat. I wouldn't want to be twenty-five again for nothing else in the world. Uh, I've learned yeah. some precious jewels over over my in my life at thirty-five years. So, thirty-five. Have you ever eaten alligator before? Oh uh, yeah, it's actually pretty good. It's not bad at all. I mean, it's not bad. I want to talk about your foundation and some of the work you're doing with kids. You know, right. keeping them in school. I just had so many people kind of believe in me and kind of push me through and. And they give me a chance to, to go to college. And it's also a scholarship program where we, you know, we provide, you know, financial needs for the, the students who are eligible for it. And they have these offers to go to college, but they can't be filled financially. So Got we it. kind of fulfill the other half of the scholarship. And I met the mother of the girl that I gave the first scholarship mm -hmm. for. It was, you know, she went to Hampton University. Mm -hmm. And now she's a senior at Harvard Law. That's what this thing is all about, and it gives you goosebumps. You know, education can really take right. you as far as you want to go, you know, uh, literally and physically. And I want them to understand that, and, and education is basically the foundation yeah. of, you know, creating your own, you know, your life. Now listen, I had a great day fishing with you. Hopefully you have a great season, go out a champion. Pleasure, man. All right, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Hey, I'm Tom Colicchio. I'm with Jerry Stackhouse here, and we're fishing off the coast of Naples. Don't miss any of my adventures on Hooked Up. It's a slam dunk. I can cover you. No? I can't cover you? I don't you? think so. No? Nah. <laughs>